Ah, welcome back. Um, remember when I said, you know, the gloves are coming off and I'm, um, ooh, yeah, no more Mr. Nice Guy or, you know, eat, no more easy mode where we're, we're cranking it up to hard mode? Yeah, it's got a lot less to do with me calling you a fucking douchebag. Yeah, no, whatever, profanity, uh, you, god damn, if you can't handle some profanity, we'll get to it. Yeah, no, what I mean is, yeah, complexity, oh, yeah, was he Chinese or Japanese? Yeah, w yeah, motherfucker. You think this is chart here is complicated? This is rudimentary. This is elementary, dear Watson. If you thought, you know, yeah, the best jokes are true. This is this is where it starts. You thought keeping the Ir Irish out of Ireland was hard. You can't tell the difference between the Celts and the Irishmen or the fucking, yeah, the Sl Hungarians and the Austrians. Those are two different, yeah, they are two different countries. Ireland sure is a different country than the United Kingdom, mate. You should go ask them why. Yeah, they got an Italian flag. Well, it's slight, yeah, it is slightly different and it's a different country. Uh, the thin red line, it, it's one of those, it's, it's one of those weird American sayings that doesn't make any fucking sense. It's, it's one of, it's one of those weird American sayings that does sort of make sense sometimes, depending on the context and who, yeah, yeah. It's vague. It can apply, it can apply to anything. It, it could be a line of cocaine. Yeah, you, yeah, you cross that thin red, the thin red line of cocaine or the thin red line. It basically means once you cross this line, it's not like there's no going back, but the, even if you go back, it won't be the same. It, yeah, things will become more and more complicated. Right. It, it's it's complicated enough from our... Yeah, sitting back on the American... The Australians are pretty close, you get it. Hong Kong, British, Chinese, Cantonese... Yeah, 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 right? It's complicated enough as it is. Once all these Americans and Australians and British, Chinese communists get dropped into Japan and Russia and China, you've crossed the thin red line. Well, can we go back? You can. It's kind of like unscrambling an egg, literally, or putting, yeah, we just shook up a, you know, a, a fucking jigsaw puzzle. This is like a jigsaw puzzle, literally. Break it up in little jigsaw puzzle pieces and toss them around and put it back together. Yeah, entropy, it takes more work. It takes a lot more work to go back than, you know, it's it's not impossible. Yeah, the, uh, yeah exactly. The hipster douchebag is going to be like, no, you, yeah, you totally could. Yeah, you totally could. I totally could. You totally couldn't. Straight up. There's the truth. Yeah, one of you caught on by now. Yeah, going back is exactly what preachy, snooty motherfuckers here wag your. Yeah, that's what you say is the bad thing. Going back? Okay, we need to race. We need to segregate all these races. Yeah, yeah. We put put them in a cage with a little sign that tells me what race they are. Uh, yeah, I hope you get it. Okay, how are we going to go back? Yeah, you think about it. Going back means isolating each group. Yeah, put all the Chinese people over there, put all the Japanese people over there. Bruh, if I start if I start doing that, well yeah. If you start doing if the king if the king of England does it, whatever, yeah, 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 whatever. Well, yeah, again, the the most hardcore British person is laughing his ass off, and people that are still surrounded by British flags, not sure if they're British or not. If they, yeah, oh, it's all it's all of fun and games until the Viet Cong. What about the Viet Cong? Whatever. Sneak preview. Yeah, yeah. Because that generation is is within our range of. You know what I mean. The, any surviving vets from like the the fifties are old. Yeah, like I, whatever. I can't blame that guy for being just senile, crazy. Well, yeah, you are entitled to be to bit, bitch about communists till the day you die. Just like I will be making Mohinder prank calls till the day I die. Yeah, yeah. I get it. I fucking get it. Yeah, no, well, the Vietnam generation is getting to that point. Yeah, they're borderline, but you know what I mean? There are probably still a few people who at least were, you know, tangent to it. They they are at least familiar with that, you know, time period. You were alive when that was on TV, straight up. There's a lot, How many times have we seen, you know, the propaganda actually, yeah, came after or during... Seeing the propaganda at the time, the Soviet propaganda, comrade, not the movies about the Soviet, yeah, kill all the fucking Reds, you know what I mean? The, the kind of propaganda that comes out years later is usually a bit different. It's not necessarily real, you know, yeah, no, you better know by now. If you say it's all bullshit, motherfucker, uh, yeah. If your propaganda's bullshit, no shit your propaganda is bullshit. That's why this is so confusing. Yeah, it's confusing, but it's not that confusing. Russian is confusing because it's a shit mixed genetic pool. Chinese and Japanese are both Oriental. Ooh, I know I'm touching a sensitive nerve with them. I'm sure any if you're a if you're a Japanese doctor and a Chinese guy comes into your office and a Russian guy comes into your office, yeah, 
The, the Chinese guy is similar enough genetically that the same treatments will likely work in most cases. There are, my, yeah, yeah, the whole racism. Well, why, why bother keeping track? Well, sir, you might need to know. But let's say you want to avoid genocide. I don't care, but you seem to. Yeah, yeah, you're the one who cares about genocide. You're the one who should be keeping track. But if I keep track, it's racial profiling. Yeah, you can segregate all the races and whatever. If I, Yeah, how do, how do we go back to the thin red, thin motherfucker? It's a thin red light of cocaine, and I already did all of it. No, fuck you, you better be paying attention. Now, in case you missed it last time, the reason I don't care about genocide is because, once again, you, you, yeah, in, in my opinion, killing all the Chinese people is equally as bad as killing all the Japanese people in terms of, quote-unquote, genocide or, you know, whatever, rac racial profiling. Yeah, if I racially profile anyone on, uh, here, even, a Br even the British, even the Australians, man, if I racially profile Crocodile Dundee, that is just as bad as racially profiling fucking Yakov Smirnov, straight up. Uh, anyone who's kept up the you know, hardcore, uh, who's kept up the whole way, what, yeah, what about the 20 to 40 year old white guy form? Well, comrade, here it's a 20 to 40 year old Slav guy form, yeah, or the 20 to 40 year old Chinese guy form, it depends where you live. And you might have heard things like, wait, aren't North Koreans all obsessed with genetic purity? Yeah, yeah. It, it's kind of like Hitler, but a little different. But you can see, yeah, whether you're right. Different, slightly different, mot different motives, but in the end, a, a paranoid person, yeah. The, oh, get those Japanese people out of here. Bra, I'm half Japanese. What, what does that mean? Yeah, he, right. Fear leads to anger, anger leads to hate, whatever. You can be paranoid, sketchy, crazy, and, and that can lead to desperate, stupid... Sh I've worn... Yeah. Goddamn, I've, the witcher has turned into the bitcher more than once and spent hours and hours preaching about negligence and ignorance and... Yeah, now, okay, now that we're... Yeah, now that we're here, brah, now that the gloves are off and I'm unloading all the... Yeah. This is why, if you've ever, up to this point, if you need to go back and watch World War One again, I'm just saying, brah, you don't have to watch the whole thing. But, yeah, like, come on. There's Chinese people, there's Japanese people, there's Russians. That I, that That is a little complicated because, it, you, yeah, it's a few different, yeah, yeah, Latin, Mongolian, whatever. <laughs> there's a little Oriental, there's a little Latin, Caucasian, there's a little I, I, North African. I, I hesitate to say we are every race. You know, the mas yeah, the joke about the master race. We, we are every race. You are the racist ones, and that's why it's funny to us and confusing to you. Uh... Oh, even old Chief Navajo rolling his Lakota joints. Yeah, straight up got arthritis in his joints from rolling too many joints of Lakota. Mongolian or Orient? Yeah, whatever, brah. You're far. Yeah, I. Yeah, I. I went away. I didn't see you for a million years, brah. And then when I ran into you. You look a little different, but yeah, you, <laughs> we're a little different after a couple million years apart. But realistically, it's like again, when you, wh when does it matter? Well, it matters when you start. When you make up kinds of murder that are worse than other kinds of murder and change the definitions whenever you kill someone or I kill, literally, I'm not even joking. Or if a doctor is using a, yeah, yeah. Well, aren't Asian, aren't like natives like can't handle their liquor? Well, it depends. Right. Right. Alcohol was invented by Caucasian and North African people, so they tend to be able to handle the alcohol or whatever from their diet or rice wine for people who grew up eating rice for a long time. Or, yeah, these people didn't have alcohol for a long time. So, what? Sorry, I'm poking. I shouldn't be afraid to make fun of Canada. It's it's one of the you know it's one of the uh, more common social kind of things that might irritate a lot of normal people. Let's say you're an alcoholic. Yeah, don't come to Canada. Oh <laughs> God damn it! You might think it. In a, yeah, well, America actually, dude. If yeah, no, I'm just saying. If you, some people have that attitude, like you can't handle your liquor, huh? Right. Hey, some Japanese people are hardcore about this shit, right? Maybe they are, have more of this. Yeah, they might have a bit more of that fucking bacteria in their gut from eating squid or whatever, right? Yeah, it can be. Are if you are a straight up xenobiologist in the Taldarim, and there is a Russian guy in your office with a Chinese guy, a Japanese guy, and a British Chinese communist, that doctor might need to know. Yeah, well, I probably shouldn't give this medication to the to the Chinese guy. Uh, yeah, I yeah, I could probably give anything to the Russian guy and whatever either he 
Either he already has a problem that would conflict with it, or the fact that he has the most gen oh God, mutts are usually healthier. It doesn't mean we're Superman. I know how this sounds. Hey, whatever. If you're curious how far we take, I, I take this in my mind. Yeah. Ooh, all my super genetic mutant powers, brah. It's not so much I added all this cool stuff, it means how much did we subtract? How many people are born with a minor defect, or ooh, uh, yeah, I'm allergic to this thing, or oh yeah, I, I was born with a fucking, you know, whatever. All it means is that happens much less frequently, whatever. In a way, I find it kind of astonishing how many people here have, like, almost everyone has either asthma or something they were born with, you know, some condition they've grown up with their whole life. That's because you've lived in a racist society that segregates races and genetic purity. Yeah, you are the one, that's what that does. Your society of white supremacy, whatever, the blacks, anything, I'm just saying, hey, I, it, yeah, it depends on what, yeah, I can't blame certain motives, I'm just saying. The, regardless of what you might think, the, the, yeah, the, the result is self-evident when every other person is born with a genetic defect, basically. Well, the government, yeah, the government making sure that, that you're paranoid about fucking, you know, that you're skeptical that someone could be more than two races, yeah, the, even this is getting weird. It, you know, like most things, they can g grow into bigger problems. Yeah, I realize people have, you know, um, what's the word, uh, fucking opportunistically taken advantage of this over time, but even, you know, back in the day, whatever, yeah, we've seen, yeah, you can only take it so far till you turn into the motherfucking czar. What race are the people on the right? You're all cousins. I'm not even joking, brah. The British, Australian, Americans, you're all fucking cousins compared to, like, even if Chinese and Chinese and Japanese are more different than like Australians and British or, or Americans and Canadian, like I'm, I, like a borderline, I'm, I'm speculating. Yeah, I'm any further than that, and I'm far past any rational speculation. That's as far as I can even you know moderately stamp any kind of hypothesis on the matter. But I just whatever. I, if I, I know I'm going to say this and you're going to think, oh, the, the government medical... Yeah, people have already taken advantage of this. It is not normal for literally everyone to need a bunch of medication. Like, oh yeah, what are you what are you allergic to? What are your allergies? Well, I, I don't have any allergies. Are you sure? It's not normal for everyone to have a bunch of allergies. You know how that happens? Yeah, it happens when you live in a society where you're all cousins. Again, if you're curious, if you're wondering, ooh, do I have a weird racial superiority complex? This is it. I, I'm i the only person I know who doesn't have an allergy, a medication I need, a specific dietary need, ooh, a glucose intolerant, yeah. I can eat pretty much anything, I can put almost anything on my skin, I can sleep, you know what I mean. Yeah, occasionally you'll be born with one or an allergy. Ooh, I'm allergic to this. Not here's my list of allergens and list of medications I need. It becomes a weird social thing. People are like, oh, now here's my medication. Yeah, you get it. You've met these people. It's part of their personality. It's yeah. Ooh, here's yeah. I'm a, everyone's allergic to gluten today. Like yeah, fad diets and shit. Like fad aller allergy fads. Like a trendy allergy. Ooh, it's cool to be allergic to this. Yeah, I hope you guys, from my perspective fucking twilight yeah i'm not saying it's bad you can't do that i'm like yeah fucking i'm now i'm living in an alien fucking galaxy at that point and some smart ass wait didn't you say you have to take it have to take medication I, I don't have to yeah bro I, I i can you know not be crazy and not know what i'm talking about yes i had people have given me drugs before and have said suggested that i take drugs before and drink out yeah lots of people have given me lots of things and so, yeah pure try yeah just do it whatever yeah, yeah. I'm not, I won't die if I don't do it. Yeah, I'm not gonna go fucking, you know what I'm saying? I don't, yeah, like something like insulin. That's a quite a specific example because, yeah, almost anyone can have diet. That's the, yeah. Some people might get diabetes. Well, depends how much sugar, refined raw sugars you eat from your sugar cane plantations and the Dutch Indies, mate. I'm sorry, guys, but the, yeah, it's funny because you brought it on yourself. And again, it's like, sure, you can speculate on how racist I might be. I know how racist you are and are too ignorant to realize because you all have lists of medications and allergies and fucking you eat way too much sugar from your slave plantations, literally. Since we don't have a bunch of slave plantations of sugar cane, we never got that much diabetes. Since we're already so genetically shit mixed, we, we don't need that many doctors and hospitals or whatever. Yeah, occasionally. Yeah, oh yeah, oh my god, you need a doctor. Damn, let's go find you a doctor. 
Or they, they're my, yeah, let's go to the, the hospital to get you. A, yeah, it's not like, okay, everyone go for our daily checkups. Yeah, we need to get our new, uh, yeah. Make sure you get tested for all your new allergens every week. Yeah, the government in the, yeah. Which came first, the chicken or the egg? That would not be a business if it was not already a thing. Yeah, they are taking advantage of the, the yeah. One problem built on another. That's not the only reason it's like this, but that's one side effect. Again, that's self-evident. It doesn't matter how racist you think this might be or no. Is that racist? It's race. Yeah. God damn it. Whether you like, yeah, you could be the nicest person in the world who lo loves everyone. If you're allergic to everything and you need a million medications and you're, yeah, oh, I'm Scottish. That's it. You're only Scottish and nothing else. Okay, you're you're inbred. Yeah, that's as harsh. Yeah, that's me being racist to you. You're inbred. Uh, uh, ask a doctor before. Yeah, yeah. Ask a doctor. Uh, yeah, yeah. Here, take the. Yeah, here's your new allergens and all the new medication you need or whatever. I'm just saying. It's yeah. It's not. Well, yeah, yeah. Let Let's uh, flip things around. Yeah. Ooh, what about these guys? Yeah, these guys can be racist. Yeah, depending on the motive. Ooh, it's okay when you do it. It doesn't mean it's okay. It's just less irritating to me, literally. Is it more or less annoying to me or not? That's how much I care about whether you're inbred or not. But yeah, this is me being racist about my fucking genetic superiority of the fact that I don't need a million asthma inhalers and pills and allergen lists of gluten or whatever, brah. Yeah, I eat bread. I, I fucking, yeah, straight up I eat bread. Uh, some people might not get that. Yeah, there's a lot of people in, you know, some parts of North America, the wealthier, snootier parts, where they have fad allergies, like, this is a trendy allergy this week. Yeah, people are, like, some people are scared to eat bread, or, or I understand being, like, a vegetarian, yeah, or a vegan, like, you don't want to hurt animals. Hey, that that is a motive that makes sense, that's what I mean. It doesn't mean you're better, it means it's less annoying because it makes sense, we don't have to argue about it, you're not, unless you're wagging your finger at me, even if you are preaching at me, it's a simple, like, okay, let's discuss this, yeah, that, that could be an interesting philosophical debate, literally. We could sit at a dinner table debating the philosophy of, a, of the slaughterhouse. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Yeah, that, ooh, that actually sounds kind of interesting, depending on what you have to say about it. As opposed to nonsense, making up definitions of words that don't exist. And yeah, well, you know, if we both do the exact same thing, you'll just make up a word for how I, when I do it, it's the most evil thing ever. And when you do it, it's like, what do you mean? Or, yeah, when it really grinds my gears is when you start blaming me for your problems, but you're too stupid to realize it. Yeah, yeah, you get it. Anyway, some Japanese person is thinking, yeah, yeah, when, when do we, yeah, when do you cross that line from douchebag to hipster douchebag? Well, sir, uh, depends how, yeah, are you preaching at me about it? Yeah, 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 right. Uh, yeah, I ain't wagging my finger at your Rick James Vatican. They might get to the motive thing. Yeah, it doesn't mean you're better. It means it makes more sense. It's easier to understand. It's... It's almost funny when you run, like, assuming it's not a bad, extreme situation, it's the kind of ignorance where it's like a, a comedic clash of cultures. Yeah, this is straight up British sitcom humor, like, oh, I didn't realize it was impolite to wear your shoes backwards in this random culture. Yeah, yeah, you get it. I'm in the Zimbabwe fucking ne Netherlands. Uh, yeah, you're supposed to wear your shoes on your head. Yeah, ha ha ha. Oh, uh, now I get it. Yeah, yeah. It is kind of, it can be funny. Literally, that that could be funny if you're not being a hipster douchebag. So, in case you're ignorant of their racial, uh, ra racist racial issues, or that they're ignorant of, with the fucking Uttam Gangnam style is laughing at you guys. Uttam Gangnam style, laugh it up. Yeah, I'm the European version of a Korean. Uh, they might be thinking too, yeah, I've made jokes about Russianese. The Chinese are basically the Russians in this situation. Yeah, there is close to his genetically ship. They're the genetic. Sh it's like the Dutch. The Dutch is the genetic ship mix of the most white people. Yeah, right in the sleazy gray middle of all the white territories is the the Dutch. Yeah, well, they're kind of every all the white people mixed together. Chinese is kind of all the Oriental people mixed together in China. Yeah, China's a big fucking place, buddy. They've been fighting each other for eight thousand years. They might get the irony, the some Japanese guy, yeah, whether you love me or hate me. Well, yeah, the Russian rapist, indeed. There's, yeah, if you're, ooh, is, it's a hilarious joke because it's true and it is, a, it's scientifically applicable to, say, yeah. Whether I'm, you know, going to fucking whatever, whether we're going on a classy date to the opera house one day or whether I am straight Russian rapist in and out of Pyongyang, 
either way, brah, the, the humanity will develop an immunity to its own bullshit, and your, your fucking Manchurian Utum Gangnam style is gonna be hopping down the fucking, you know what I'm saying? Your kids, whether they are rape children or fucking, uh, you know, uh, uh, fornicating under the consent of the king, or lawful, yeah, whatever. The king said it was okay to have sex now. Okay. Is it racist? It will be if you don't do what I fucking tell you to. I'm just saying. Dude, if I was a king, suddenly you would not wonder why kings are a bad thing. Anyway, uh, yeah, I am trying to brainwash people into being less... Racist? Uh, I'm scaring you uh, out of uh, your supre your racial supremacy. Yeah, yeah. The further you take your yeah, you can only take it so far before you turn into the czar. You'll see. Yeah, it can get worse. Hemophilia. Yeah. Oh, everyone in the family has the same genetic disorder. At that point, you're you're all brothers and sisters, and you're, next you're gonna be banging your mom. Like I'm not even joking. Dude, there's like a goofy um like jazz club song about he's his own grandpa. Yeah, you don't doubt it was black guys laughing their asses off at the white supremacists back in the day in the 20s that made a joke called he's his own grandpa and he doesn't even realize it. Like, that is some funny shit, guys. Well, what about black supremacy? Well, the Congo is a big place, buddy, yeah. <laughs> Goddamn Shaka Zulu Congo is kind of like Latin. It's kind of like Russian. It's Russianese. Yeah, it's a genetic shit mix of most of Africa in, in the middle of Africa. How do I know? Brah, how would you- the only person who would try to stop that is the King of England. Okay, yeah, then now it's okay. Yeah, yeah. Straight up. The only people who think, like, wait, wait a minute. Yeah, you're the only people who do that. Eh, yeah. Slight exaggeration. Other people do things like this. Hitler's only one example. Why, why do you think North Koreans are, oh no, we're only whatever. We're not Japanese, we're only Chinese. Oh, yeah, eh? Yeah, hey, some Japanese person, yeah. God damn it, yeah, you guys are too charming to hate. It's kind of like the British. I'll oh, laugh it up. Yeah, didn't they rape it? Yeah, straight up Russian rapist. Yeah, technically, if I was a good person, I'd be, I'd kill everyone here. If I was a good person, I'd kill everyone here. But I'm not, so I'm tolerant of everyone. Even most, like, normal, like, you know, moderately average intelligent Chinese people would think, it, yeah, it, it's... It's different because ch most Chinese people are already Russianese. You're already genetically shit mixed. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're, we're all similar enough. Or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they've, their culture has already sort of moved because they've all Russian rapisted each other through so many civil wars. Like I said, whether you're all having a good time, man, or whether you're all raping each other to death. Yeah, yeah, this time, 50 years from now, you're all going to be Russianese. And, it, yeah, it doesn't mean nothing bad happens. It means, it, it, yeah, or, or, it, it's less so a matter of ra racial profiling, bro. If we're all cousins, yeah, all cousins, but we got enough genetic material that I can bang my cousin and we won't get, yeah, god damn it. <laughs> right, at a certain point, you can get away with that shit. My god, man. It's, it's complicated. Yeah, there's a lot to it. I, I've touched on the subject in the very first part of this, genetics and evolution. It's one of those things where... Once again, the human body, whatever, is quite resilient and adaptable. Yes, human, a human can do, you know, can adapt to almost any situation, can survive crazy shit. If you do it again and again, and another cousin and another cousin, and yeah, you keep breaking the same bone over and over, yeah, maybe it won't heal next, or it'll take longer to, yeah, your knee's kind of fucked after breaking it 40 times, or whatever. Yeah, you threw your back out for good this time, whatever, yeah, yeah, so many cousins down the tree, and yeah, you start to get the brain damage, damage, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's cumulative, it's gradual, we, you know, we don't have enough uh, data to say definitively exactly what will happen. It's mostly odds and statistics. Like I said, what I know is everyone I know here has some medical condition. Yeah, you think that's normal. It's not. It's not. Yeah, the government sure does make money off it once they realize this. Uh, yeah, among many other things. God damn it. Anyway, I know how some of this sounds. I honestly can't think of how else to, you know, approach this from. I, I'm, yeah, I, I could be nastier if I want to. I'm just trying to be, like, belligerent and blunt about it. Like... Even for, yeah, for them too. I hope you guys get it. The Japanese are, they might get it. They're, they're one of the most extreme examples of isolation. They were mostly isolated from the rest of the world until very recently. The joke about an alien world, the reason it's not whatever, I don't care how racist it is or isn't, it's it, it, it's funny. Yeah, I enjoy dealing with most racist Japanese people. You guys want to know why? 
it's literally like dealing with an alien. Straight up. It's like hanging out with an alien that's like, he doesn't know, yeah, yeah, is unfamiliar with all these human customs. I, yeah, that might be racist between you and Kim Jong-un. To me, it's like, my god, it's like, I've always wanted to meet a real alien before. Yeah, dude, come on, you don't know, we've, yeah, Latinese or what. This is probably, I, we've joked about this too. Romans, yeah, you might think, wait a minute, yeah, well, fucking Russian rapist from here to Hong Kong. Our culture has, yeah, there are things about our culture. That's a Roman thing, isn't it? Straight up. Yeah, most of the world thinks, yeah, the, the Germans can make fun of us for being savage Klingon barbarians because, yeah, we can make fun of them for being snooty, sophisticated scientists in the woods with their axes and loincloths. He has straight up sophisticated corncob pipe academy going on out in the Hexenvich fucking wilderness there. Yeah, here in Athens University, bro, we got a fist fight over who's right about quantum particles. Do I need to turn you into quantum particles to prove my theory? Do we have to take this to Sparta to settle the matter officially with, like, referees of how many quantum particles I turn you into? Like, not, not even joking. Someone here might get it, yeah. Why do you think I'm such a dick when I, when I specifically, when it comes to debating science in the four, yeah, god damn it. Yeah, this is my cultural heritage, motherfucker. Yeah, I get pretty damn serious when it comes to debating science and philosophy. Yeah, I, well, yeah, yeah, this is... God damn it. How did the, how did the ancient Greek philosophers do it? Because they, because they weren't pansy-ass little bitches, whatever, straight up. I, I don't... It doesn't mean they're all good at punching each other. It's, whatever, it depends how far you want to take your theory of quantum particles, bro. <laughs> God damn it. I, I just... Yeah about words. Ooh, is that word racist? Broad, yeah, yeah. The only thing that you can't, the only thing that's censored is censor, yeah. The only thing you can't say is that you can't say that. Yeah, that's, that, yeah, that's what you're not allowed to say here, is that you're not allowed to say that here. I'm allowed to say that, oh, yeah, oh god damn it, motherfucker. That would be the joke, you know, whatever. Speculating, yeah, yeah, if you want to joke about what you're not allowed to say back in Rome, whatever, that, that, that's what you're not allowed to say, basically. The only thing that's censored is censorship itself. Oh, the, yeah, the only thing that's prohibited is, is censorship itself. It, we still have secrets. You get it. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course there are secrets. But uh, that word is offensive. That means I'm going to say it more. The point is, in my opinion, <clears throat> whatever, certain, yeah, we're from the opposite ends of the world, we seem like opposites, the yeah, opposites might be very similar, Shadow Link or what. In my opinion, uh, yeah, there might be a few reasons why Super Mario's Galaxy is the most popular thing in Japan. Whatever, Latinese, straight up Latinese, there could be many reasons. I feel like we both have an, a straight-up alien complex. We, yeah, we both feel like aliens surrounded by, in a Twilight Zone fucking alien galaxy universe of nonsense. And when I, yeah, we, we are also aliens to each other, but it's, it's, it's like we're still peers in that sense. It's like, oh, you know what it's like to be an alien in a world full of crazy fucking weirdos. Yeah, you do know what that's like. <laughs> So are the Germans, but you guys think they're cool, badass, pre yeah, you guys fawn over them for how, for how cool they are, as opposed to being like, whoa, whoa, man, yeah, yeah. It's, it's not the fucking Mongolian nightmare apocalypse of the Russian rapist, it's, oh yeah, it's the predator, that guy's badass, dude, yeah, yeah, Taldarim, and yeah, you know all about the Taldarim and the Shakuras Dark Templar, motherfucker, the Tiamat brood, the Gormangan brood, you're just looking at colors when the Zerg show up, straight up when the Zerg show up, you are just looking at, you better just be looking at colors at that point. And, you know, speculating too, if you are Japanese, you might be laughing at some of this. The end result of this is, in the end, yeah, I guess who's the most tolerant of my belligerent attitude about this? Yeah, when I say, well, they're, they're a bit whiter and those guys are blacker, it's like, are you allowed to say that? It's like, dude... Yeah, the Japanese guy's like, okay, that makes sense, I get it. Yeah, no, these motherfuckers, that, oh, that's race, yeah. <laughs> Being, yeah, now that we're less ignorant of these cultural differences, yeah, t that, uh, yeah, no, that's, yeah, it's... Less racist to be more confusing and nonsense. Yeah, British fucking Queen's table manners or what? Yeah, yeah. Our table manners are much more similar than the Queen's British table manners or whatever. Yeah, I'm allowed to own Hong Kong and Vietnam. Oh, the Viet Cong? Yeah, do you want... Yeah. God damn it, I'm savoring this, guys. Do you want to know why the Viet Cong are horribly evil? Because they're natives. Literally, that's it. Now, the Germans, they were natives. The ja Yeah. Natives are evil. 
Yeah, you, the, the, you know who's supposed to own that native territory is the King of England. Straight up, the King of England owns Vietnam. And if the natives decide, no, we own it now, they are the most evil people in the world. Guys, I am literally just having fun fucking harassing you for being racist. I could do this for another hour, but we'll, we'll actually have to get some work done next time. Don't worry, guys. Yeah, the Japanese are laughing. Yeah, the fact that they're so racist means they're much less racist in the end. And the fact that you don't understand why, yeah, it's because you guys are fucking racist. Yeah, in, in the bad way. Yeah, when they do it, it's cool. When you do it, it's not. Yeah, yeah, God, the, even the Chinese get it. Uh, of course I have a Tekken combo of bitch slaps for these motherfuckers. God damn it, guys. Hey, if you want to be less ignorant, some of you think it's funny, or whatever. If you can, yeah, roll with the punches, motherfucker. Yeah, welcome to the Russian Rapist Club. I'm just saying, like, the more uptight you are about this, it makes everything else more difficult. Everything's more confusing, everything is more weird, every- yeah, if you're wondering why it's like, oh god, this seems really- it seems really complicated, because, god damn it, you, if we can't joke about the Russian rapist, brah, if, if I was calling you the American rapist, yeah, whoa, now, yeah, if you can't joke about me calling myself the Russian rapist, if that's too sensitive for you, brah, yeah, yeah, can you see why, like, I know how it sounds, but yeah, ignorance makes it hard to understand things that you don't know. I, whatever, coming back to this little pla another one of my fridge magnet plaques. Yeah, I've met a lot of stupid people in my life. I've met straight up aliens from another galaxy in, in Japan. Whatever, brah, I didn't even know she was your grandma. That's how young she looks. Straight up, I did not know she was your grandma. Yeah, I didn't realize you were fucking almost twice my age, lady. God damn, you look like, yeah, yeah, you, you look pretty damn good for a 50-something-year-old woman. Yeah, God, yeah. They, they, right, they're thinking, wait a minute, what about the, yeah, the unhealthiness? Yeah, technically being inbred should make you less healthy. Well, ever since you Russian rapisted from here to Hong Kong, god damn it, guys. Yeah, karma or what? Tekken combo of bitch slaps. No, 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 I'm gonna finish off my little roast of the white people here. Whatever, I'm allowed. To, I can be as racist as I want because I am every race. I am the master race, so I'm allowed to be racist to you. In a, yeah, if the rest of the world agrees, if you're the only people who think, yeah, you're in a minority at this point, motherfucker. Some white person, likely a, a younger woman or an older woman. Oh, no, no, they're, yeah, they're racist too. Okay, if you're going to say those, yeah, oh, I, no, I've seen Chinese people be racist. Okay. Here's a, here's a short little uh, list of parameters. If, if Was it under these circumstances? Did it happen in America or Canada? Oh, yeah, you brought your Chinatown here? Brah, you brought your America town to native territory. You both, yeah. If you're going to bitch about Chinatown in your country, brah, there's an America town in China. It's called fucking Hong Kong, British Chinese, yeah, Hong Kong 97. You've had, yeah. It, whatever, yeah, that's just the way it is, bro. You probably didn't even know about that because you're ignorant. So you both have America Town in China. There's a Chinatown in America. My God. Okay, yeah, they can be racist too. Did it happen in America? Yeah. Were you already in an argument or a fight? Yeah. Was it all? Did did you just walk up to a random? Did they a random Chinese person walk up to you and start harassing you for your race? No, no, no. You were already in an argument with this person. It was already whatever. Yeah, yeah, cinching the noose here with the Tekken combo of bitch slaps. Was this racist uh, Asian person, was it a catty, bitchy woman on her period? Arguing with another catty, bitchy woman on her period? Laugh it up. That is not racism. That is bitches being bitches. Uh, all, almost all of the casual racism, when I say casual racism, yeah, not the KKK, not shooting that guy because he's black, not, yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, guys can do stuff like this, but they don't get, get catty, usually don't get this catty with each other over literally, maybe if he's sleeping with your wife, you might go to Ch Pong Ching's corner store if your kid is Chinese. Yeah, that's quite specific. Whatever, bro. I can make fun of women and, ra I can be racist and sexist at the same time. And you, the the old, a, old Asian grandma, hey, I didn't even know you were that old lady. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we're good at this. We're good at being, yeah, Russian rapist is good at being racist and sexist at the same time and still being classy gentlemen about it to where people enjoy the enjoy it. God damn it. Casual racism, as in being a catty bitch, of, oh my, yeah, all those Filipino bitches. Yeah, it's always women being catty bitches towards other women on their periods, on their regs, bitching about how, yeah, that bitch is a slut. Not, yeah. Motherfucker, I'm just saying. 
whatever. That's where most of the, a lot of the casual buzzword racism I've heard comes from. Yes, there are also extremist crazy motherfuckers. Why is it more like, God damn it. Well, with the Chinese and the Japanese, even the Chinese, some Chinese think it's funny or probably get it, or even dumber ones are clicking into it thinking, okay, yeah, yeah, they, ooh, yeah, yeah, now you can, yeah, get the one up on these motherfuckers. If you're already a genetic shit mix and you, oh, can I go back? Yeah, you've already crossed the thin red line and now you're trying to go back. I'm not saying you can't do that. It's very difficult. You probably need doctor, scientist, and a fucking xenobiologist on the Taldarim. I guarantee, yeah, you're probably, yeah. It's just going to get more and more complicated. And pretty much any time you hear about someone like Hitler or the North Koreans, or aren't they crazy? Yeah. They're probably the, the most genetically shit-mixed mutts in, in Asia. No, yeah, Koreans are the most genetic. They're, yeah. They're like Russians almost. They, they have the most genetic diversity. And this, they are paranoid about it, and don't, yeah, and are, yeah. They're ignorant in the sense that their mentality is at the opposite of their reality. The Japanese are nervous about crossing the thin red line because they're not, uh, yeah, they're a little more conscientious about it. Yeah, they're, a whatever. We are both aliens in an alien fucking dimension galaxy and whatever, bro. You know, we can just make pornos here or there, and yeah, that, that'll keep you guys, yeah. That'll keep you from getting genetic dis disorders. If I can have sex with your uh, unusually attractive grandma or wh whatever, bro, we, you don't know. You you guys do not want to know what we talk about when you're not here. Straight up. That's as far as I'll take that for now. I'm sure your grandma's laughing. Yeah, yeah God damn it. Yeah, you ladies look pretty damn good for 60 whatever. Just saying. Most, most yeah, you want to get catty with some bitches from here, there anyway. Yeah, they all look older than you, bitch. Laugh it up. See, I can call her a bitch and be racist to her, and they enjoy it. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's flattering when I do it to you. It's okay when they're racist to me or you. When you guys do it, it's not cool. Straight up, you know why now. No, I've already explained why. If you don't get it, it means you're also a fucking idiot. And remember, yeah, yeah, the Viet Cong Vietnamese. Yeah, they're evil because they're natives trying to reclaim their native homeland. Uh, yeah, yeah, the King of England or the King of France, Duke of Flanders... We'll get to it, France. Oh, well, yeah, what about France? Well, it's the same royal family. Yeah, once again, they're going to pass off the buck on a... Well, that's a different country. Yeah, they will do anything they can to weasel out of anyone blaming them for anything. And most normal French people, immediately, the second they heard that France got invaded... Uh, French Polynesia, yeah, they, they didn't even know they got invaded. As soon as most of them heard about any of this, they, they immediately were like, oh, oh god, what the fuck, yeah, how do I, how do I throw this nasty spider out? It's like picking up a spider in a glass and throwing it out your window, like, oh god, get the, get this fucking thing out of my house, yeah. They, they wanted to immediately relinquish the situation, and yeah, okay, what, how do we get rid of this as quickly as possible? They, yay, maybe it wasn't the smartest thing, it was, yeah, it was, whatever, they, they did the best thing they could have done, they, they uh, um, immediately tried to, uh, you know, uh, unhand the situation and step away from causing more conflict over it. There are other, yeah, some, some guy might have been a dumbass, but it's kind of the opposite of kicking and screaming, clawing your way into owning this many British colonies. Yeah, the King of England owns all these places. Where are they? Brah. You should know where all these places are. Oh, yeah. If you don't, you're even more racist and more ignorant. See that uh, Taiwan? Yeah. What? What? Why? What is it about the flag of Taiwan? Once again. Oh, yeah. Ooh, their propaganda might be lying to you, bro. Why would they lie to me about something they're trying to convince me of? You know what I mean? It's like they're trying to. Ooh, I want you to believe this. Whatever they want me to believe is what they've shown me. Yeah. Whether it's a lie or not. Do you remember what they showed you? Look at the- yeah, ooh, look at his hat. Oh my god, look at that guy's hat. He's an imperial fucking guard of the king, straight up Chinese King Henry. Or one of the- well, hey, maybe he turned for you, get it. That star on his hat? The star on that flag? It's the king. Straight up King Henry on a Chinese flag, that's why. Well, oh, technically, yeah, it's like Canada. Oh, technically we're not part of the- yeah. We don't have a king, then why do you have a flag that says you have a king? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter till you don't like my flag. It doesn't matter till you think I'm racist. We laugh about it while joking about how old your grandma is or what is straight up thought she was your sister, and I'm not even joking. You ladies age very well. I can call her a bitch and be racist to her and we can go make pornos and laugh about it. And you guys are just, yeah.
You're all cousins, and you all have a horribly inbred genetic... You're a step away from the czar. Sorry, guys. I just wanted to spend a, a long time harassing you for being racist and stupid. And when we get back, uh, eventually we'll talk about something serious when we get back.